Bye. So I'm just going to give one of these a little try. I'm just going to break off a piece like that. Hmm. So they're quite crunchy on the outside, but they're quite soft in the middle. They're really nice. So, as I said, I'm going to fill one side with chocolate coconut cream and some strawberry Kool-Aid and I'm going to put two together and have some strawberries in that as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make these delicious soft almond cookies or biscuits. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a delicious soft almond cookie or biscuit. So this recipe is really easy and these make a really tasty treat and they also make a really nice after dinner sweet treat as well. I have actually added chocolate cream and strawberry Kool-Aid to these with some strawberries and that was delicious. So I served that to some friends and family the other week and they loved them. So my strawberry Kool-Aid recipe is already up. That went up on Tuesday and then my chocolate cashew nut cream recipe is coming up on Saturday. So watch out for that on my channel and if you do enjoy cooking videos and you've liked this one then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get those other recipes either. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some ground almonds, no, some almond flour, sorry, to my mixing bowl and it does really need to be almond flour. Ground almonds are less fine than almond flour. Almond flour is very fine so it really needs to be the flour if you're going to make these. So I've got about 200 grams that I'm just going to add in. And next I'm going to add in about 150 grams of coconut sugar. And the reason I'm using coconut sugar is simply because it slides through the liver slightly easier than refined sugar does. So it's much better for the body. So I'm going to add that in as well. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder to this as well. So I've just got a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm just going to mix those ingredients round. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt to this as well. And the salt actually just brings out the sweetness. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. If my lid doesn't keep closing on me. That's better. A little bit of salt as well. I'm going to mix those ingredients round as I said. And then I'm going to make a little well in the middle. And I've got two eggs here that I just cracked and scrambled before I just put them in. So I'm going to just pop these in as well. And then to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence or vanilla extract. So I'm just going to add in a teaspoon. And then I'm going to mix these ingredients together until this forms like a dough ball. This mixture will probably be quite wet as well. Um, almond flour tends to soak everything up, which is great, but it also is slightly wetter than a normal gluten cookie, if you know what I mean. So something you make with flour, it's slightly different to that. So as I said, I'm just gonna continue to keep mixing all of these ingredients together until this forms a dough ball. The mixture has formed a lovely dough ball. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of the mixture and I have dampened my hands slightly so it doesn't stick to, the, to my hands. The mixture doesn't stick to my hands. And now what I'm gonna do is just make a cookie like so. I'm gonna make these slightly larger than I did originally. I think people, when I served them to them, they thought the biscuits were a bit too small, to be honest. So I thought I'd make these slightly larger. I think I'm gonna probably make about eight this time rather than 10 to 12. So as I said, I'm just grabbing a piece of the mixture and then rolling it between my hands. And I think I'm gonna go and have to dampen my hands, but I'm gonna, once I've dampened my hands, I'm gonna continue to make the rest of the cookies. The oven has preheated. I preheated it to about 200 degrees and the cookies have been in the fridge for a good half an hour. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to transfer them to this baking tray and this baking tray is a Pampered Chef stoneware baking tray so it doesn't need any oil or any greaseproof paper or anything like that. Um, the thing with stoneware is it generally tends to cook things quite evenly um, and it takes out all of the badness and leaves the goodness which is why I love to use it especially when it comes to cooking biscuits and cookies and things. So yes, as you can see, I've transferred these now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've left these in for 15 minutes and they're a lovely golden brown color. So I'm gonna take them out of the oven and leave them to cool. As you can see, I have left the cookies on the cooling rack to cool down a little bit. They're still slightly warm. They've been sat here for about 10 minutes, but I couldn't wait any longer because they smell so good. So I'm just gonna give one of these a little try. Just gonna break off a piece like that. Mm. So they're quite crunchy on the outside, but they're quite soft in the middle. They're really nice. So, as I said, I'm gonna fill one side with chocolate coconut cream and some strawberry Kool-Aid, and I'm gonna put two together and have some strawberries in that as well. And that will be our dessert later and I'm really looking forward to it. That's how you make my delicious soft almond cookies and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having these as a bit of a dessert this evening and we're all really looking forward to it. They smell and tasted so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.